Thank you, Rebecca. Now we have some speeches from Arden and Grace of the uh, McKenzie School GSA. I'm going to turn it over to Arden first. Okay. Thank you everyone who has come here today to show their pride and support for our beautiful community. Poser? Like, this is good? Okay. Um, it's so incredible to see everyone's support. My name is Arden, and I am a queer and transgender student at MCS. Ever since I was little, I've always had pride in my opinions, in my art, and in my accomplishments. My mom will sometimes tell me with a smile how I always went on stage during my tiny piano recitals and was never nervous of any adults watching or judging. No matter where I was, I always made sure my voice was heard. That turned out to be an incredible gift when I came out, as a lesbian at first, which has obviously since changed. I've always been proud of my identity, and I'm glad to have helped myself and others because of it. Sadly, pride has recently been more difficult for me to find within myself, especially with the spread of anti-2S LGBTQ plus legislation across the US. It breaks my heart to see our queer and trans children struggling so close to us. But today, when I was getting ready for this event, I put on my Protect Trans Kids shirt and I reminded myself that I too am one of the children I must protect. I will not let myself be lost or discouraged by the few voices that stand against us. I will protect myself by having pride. I am scared by the growing hatred in America right now that targets our loving community, especially transgender youth like myself. But even if our safety or comfort is taken, no one can take our pride. Pride to me is understanding everything we're up against and finding hope within ourselves anyways. Pride is finding enough strength and holding hands and raising our voices that we can challenge laws. Pride is celebrating each and every victory we earn, no matter how big or small. Pride is love to the point of rebellion. Thank you so much to the Queer Connection for coming together and helping us celebrate our existence and our persistence in our history and in our future. Our love is the strongest tool we have and we must give it more than ever. I love you all. After all, you are my family. And like my family, we will continue to unite and protect each other. Thank you all so much. Can you all hear me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, hello Deep River. Um, my name is Grace, and I'd like to take this opportunity to talk about pride and what it might mean to different people. Pride can inspire learning. Those who may be unaware or confused become better able to learn about the wonderful diversity that exists in our world. And hopefully, pride then becomes an opportunity to open minds and encourage acceptance. Often, pride can give a voice to the voiceless. It is hard to be heard individually, but when we stand together in solidarity, we are stronger and we are louder. Woo! For many, pride can be encouraging and comforting. For those who are in the closet, seeing others who are loud and unashamed of who they are can bring immense confidence and comfort. At least it did in my own experience. Pride shows that whoever you are and however you identify, you will always have a community to come to. <laughs> Finally, oh, the wind, sorry. <laughs> Finally, pride is a reminder of how far we have come as a society, as well as how much further we still have to go. Pride originally began 50 years ago as a march for equal rights, but the fight for equality is still ongoing. Pride was a protest then, and pride is a protest now. It is completely and utterly heartbreaking to see the hostility that remains globally, and even at times locally. Having pride in who you are, especially in a world that often feels so hateful, is an act of protest. Even coming out today to show your pride and support shows incredible courage and strength. Now, I will leave you all with this reminder. You deserve love, care, safety, and respect. I deeply hope that you felt a sense of pride today, no matter what that might mean to you. Finally, a big thank you to the Deep River Queer Connection for organizing this event and creating a welcoming space for all. Can we have a round of applause for them? Yeah. 
Thank you everyone and have a great Pride Month. It's so lovely to hear from the youth in our community of what Pride means to them and what all of you showing up means to them. Thank you very much for speaking today, Grace and Arden. Our next, our next performance and then leaving you to celebrate with the barbecue and, and the rest of the afternoon with music, we have up our fierce drag performer, Toxic Waste. Well, yeah. While we wait for Toxic to come, Elle has some things to say. Your cheerleader from the parade. Hey. hey. Yo, Toxic Waste. Hey! Hi, <laughs> right, so my name is Elle. I, I talked to y'all. I talked to y'all a little bit earlier. Um, oh, sorry, I have ADHD. Sounds just make my brain feel like whoop. Okay, 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 right. So I grew up here. And I'd like to just share a story that I shared in the Queer Connection, but I'll, not, whatever. not everyone has Facebook, so I mean, I'm just going to share it again because it's really important to me, just the feelings that occurred when uh, this situation happened. But just to give you a little bit of background, my name is Al. I grew up in Deep River, uh, moved here when I was two years old. <laughs> uh, grew up here until I was 18, moved to Pembroke for a little while, came back, whatever. You know, I'm back. Um, and I have known that I was transgender since I was four years old. So, it's really, you know, a lot of people say that kids could never know that young who they really are. And it's just wild to me because I'm like, no, 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 no. On the first day of kindergarten at T.W. Morrison Public School, when the teachers were herding us all into the bathrooms, I proudly followed the rest of the boys to the boys' bathroom. And um, when I got there, someone looked at me and was like, why are you here? And I said, what do you mean i'm a boy because it was true and at that time i didn't really understand what made people think that like boys and girls were so different you know i was like what what why can't i just be a boy this is how i feel right um and when i grew up i faced a lot of bullying and um there's a crosswalk in town that i used to take to get home and every day a couple of kids would meet me there and they would follow me home to call me an it um, and to bully me just relentlessly. Um, and the other day I went out for a walk and I was following that same path that I used to take to school. And as I approached that crosswalk, I felt my nerves just, you know, kicking into the highest gear. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, who's going to be waiting for me at the crosswalk this time, right? And uh, I got there, and to my absolute delight, two of the houses right next to the crosswalk had huge pride flags waving. Huge pride flags. I was completely overcome with just a sense of joy and pride that our community has come so far. And we've worked together to build such a safe space for everyone who's different like us. Um, and. Basically, I just want to say thank you, because without y'all, without all of this just massive, loud support, right, I might not have even come here today, because I've been terrified to come out and talk to people, right? So just shout out to all of you for being so loud and proud with your beliefs, with your love, with your unending love. Shout out to Van for being one of... Sorry. Shout out to um, Toxic Waste for um, actually being one of the first people that I came out to. We, we, we used to work together. Um, so, shout out. <laughs> it's all good. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm joking. It's so weird to hear when I'm in drag. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. It's all good. I just, I'm not that person right now. So, it's okay. Yeah, that was very good. 
Okay, anyways, I'm gonna pass it off to them. Give them a round of applause! Thank you all for sharing your story, and thank you everyone for showing support so that people like Al and our community feel safe and seen and can be in Deep River in their home and feel themselves. <laughs>